Radio. Welcome to another exciting episode of Coffee and Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob. Joining you today is Zyra, the real vibe. How are you doing, Zyra? I'm doing great, actually. I just left the wrestling guy store for the signing, so it was amazing. Very good time. Thank you for everybody for showing up today. It was great. Awesome. Dude, I thought it was so cool that you were able to have, like, the future of wrestling, you know, uh, ladies wrestling here at the wrestling guy store. I thank David so much for having us. Um, you know, it was you, uh, Zyra, uh, J- uh, Johnny Robbie, Robbie, and Myla. Myla. I thought it was so cool. Yes, we're definitely the future of women's wrestling in SoCal. And it was such a, like, a, a such a busy day for you guys. As I got here, there's people already, like, lined yes. up and coming into you. So I was so happy. And it's so cool to see the uh, VWE Women's Championship here. Yes. How, how That's right. How, how have things been for you at Venue Wrestling? It's been amazing. Um, I'm just looking for some competition. I've been waiting to see somebody challenge me for my title. So we will see what happens. Oh, very cool. And I actually think we get to see you tomorrow at uh, Pure Rousseau as yes, well. Yes, Lucha Wrestling, Puro Wrestle tomorrow in Carson Alexander Sports. That's so cool. Um, if we can start at the beginning, you know, I mean, you're obviously the champion now, but how did you first get into wrestling? Ooh, I've been loving wrestling since I was a child. I think everybody in wrestling that's actually doing wrestling comes from that, you know. We all started watching it since I was young. Um, my dad actually got me into wrestling. He would put it on TV and he would like call us all over, all my siblings, and we'd just sit down and watch it and stuff. So it was very exciting. It was a bonding moment definitely for all of us and it was it was really nice that my dad actually loved it too. So it was a great bonding time for us. That's so cool, man. Okay, how did you make the decision that you're gonna do this and this is what I'm gonna do? It, was, it actually took me some time because I was watching wrestling when I was uh, young, and then I stopped watching it for a You're while. You're young now. <laughs> no, I'm <being> younger. <laughs> I used to watch when I was younger, like a little girl and stuff. I stopped watching it because, you know, life and stuff. Then I started watching it again, and then I was like, you know what? Like, I'm actually going to try it because I, I always had it in my head since I was a little girl. Like, I want to do what they're doing. Like, they're over here, like, killing it and looking so beautiful. The divas, they really, really, like, made me, like, be like, you know what? This is what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Well, how did you end up breaking into the business then? Um, It was actually, like, you know, when you go through a crisis in life and then you kind of finally find yourself... You kind of like, you know what, I'm actually going to do things for myself now. So that's what I decided. I'm like, I'm going to do what makes me happy. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to just give it a try. I'm going to see how, how, how it goes for me. If, if I don't like it or if the freaking um, the bumps and all of that stuff is too much for me, then I'll just stop. But you know what, ever since I started, I have not stopped. Like, I started training in 2018 and... I mean, I'd be flexing this, but, you know, I have not <laughs> stopped. I have not missed a training ever since I started. Like, I'm at, I'm there every week. Maybe I'll miss a day during the week, but it's rare. I have probably, throughout the whole time I've been training, I've only missed, like, four classes throughout the whole time since 2018. Wow, I'm dude. I'm there every day. Bro, that's four years that I'm missing a day. Mm-hmm. I miss, I try and miss work as much as possible. No, you know? <laughs> no I'm... And the thing about me is I like to be fully committed. If I'm not fully committed, then I'm not going to do it. I have to be in it 100%. And that's the thing with wrestling. Like, you have to be in it 100%. Because if you're not in it 100%, like, you will not see yourself, like, going anywhere. Because you have to train. You have to be there mentally as well. So it, it's very, very hard, but very rewarding as well. And it, it, it actually is very nice to do something that I love. And, like, doing it with people that also love it as well since when you're young for me and i've heard it from a lot of people like when you're young you really don't like to say oh i like wrestling because then people you know they're like oh wrestling's fake wrestling this wrestling that you know the people that don't like are very judgy towards it so i kind of would hold myself back when i was young to saying that i liked it because not a lot of people related to me so now that I'm around people that like it and relate to me, it's awesome, you know? Like, I'm all for supporting women, supporting anybody who's, who loves wrestling, you know? I actually take the time on Mondays for Lucha Wrestling Puro Wrestle to help uh, newbies and help uh, the new guys and girls uh, do tumbling, do, do basic stuff. So I love helping people out in, as much as I can, you know? That's so cool that you have that passion for it and that you love it, you know, you're able to help people. Yes. But how did you come together first to put your character together? obviously your ring entrance is huge you know it is a vibe and it's you know it's definitely it's a production it's so cool when you come out how did you put the whole character together the thing about me is to say um it's you times a hundred so me i'm all about energy vibes and like my third eye and all of that that's me for real like i i'm all about manifestation like 
visualization, all of that. So it's like everything I want in life, I know I can get it. So I just, you know, use my little visualization, manifestation, scripting. So that's just me. I'm very woke. I know that the power is within the mind. So I use that a lot. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to just put this into my character and kind of build from there and you know, that's how it is. The vibe, the real vibe. <laughs> it is a vibe for sure. Uh, and I love it. But, you know, that's outside of the ring. How would you describe your wrestling inside of the ring? I mean, I think you're a technician. You yes. really are able to get down. But how would you describe your wrestling style? Well, I'm very, like, uh, technical. I use a lot of submissions. Like, um, my type of wrestling, uh, it's not, like what you normally see around the area you know my trainer uh he dedicates his time into teaching us all three types of styles of wrestling uh people think lucha wrestling puro wrestle but they think just lucha but it's not just lucha he teaches us japanese style because he used to be a trainer for new japan so he teaches us um japanese style strong style he teaches lucha and some american style as well so we're learning the three types of uh wrestling styles that's cool man mm -hmm. and that's good that you're well-rounded like that that you're able to have you know so many different styles yes with all those different styles you come across many different opponents definitely who are some of your favorite opponents that you've had Ooh, i have three in mind okay. right now uh my three favorite opponents as of now that i've wrestled one would be johnny robbie the second one would be maserati and my third one would be everly rivera okay only because i've trained with her and me and her have very very good chemistry and those were my top three what do you think stands out about those matches for you what makes those matches stand oh, out the chemistry and they just know what they're doing you know they've been around for a while and you could just see the dedication and love for wrestling in them. So I love that about it, about them, you know. And that's great when you have chemistry with somebody, you know, and you're able to go out there and perform and do what you can do, you know. Yes. Who are some of your favorite dream matches or people that you'd like to face in your Ooh. career? Number one, of course, would be Sasha Banks. She is my, <laughs> like, top number one. Um, I also love um, Alexa Bliss. I love Alexa Bliss, but like, keeping it here, maybe in the SoCal area, I want to name a few. Uh, maybe like Delilah Doom. She's uh, great. Viva Van would great be again. another one. Um, Milo Matters as well. I would like to wrestle her as well. She's cool. Yes. Shout out to Milo. Yes. Uh, it's a lot. The list goes on and on, you know. I'm just... My thing is, I want to wrestle the best there is out there, so I'm like, just give me the best. You have that hunger, you have that drive, yes. I love it. What is that feeling like after a show, after you've done what you've done in the oh ring? Oh my god. The adrenaline is like at 100%. Like, it's, I'm at a high, and I go to sleep so late that same night. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I very critique myself, you know? So I always go back, I look at my videos, and I judge myself, and I'm like, okay, I need help on this, I need to do this, I need to do that. But, you know, I love it because it's like you just coming out of the ring and just feeling so happy, that excitement, that adrenaline is just so unexplainable. Like, I just love it. Like, I feed off of that. Like, I crave that. So that's why I'm like, every match, I'm like, okay, I'm craving that feeling after that I feel, you know? Yeah, it's that's amazing. cool, man. That I love it. What are your plans for the future? What do you got in mind for, mm. for, for wrestling for your, the rest of your career or for your career? Well, the main goal for me, myself, but since I've always been young, WWE has always been a dream of mine. So WWE is, is the main goal for me. But honestly, now, since there's so many different companies, so many different opportunities for us pro wrestlers now, like AEW also is, is a... Is a comes to my mind as well so any opportunity i'll take it you know i love that you're able to take those opportunities i mean we've seen you multiple places we've seen you pro rosu like i said um you've done knox pro uh venue wrestling obviously yes. but i think you've done some work for wwe as well yes i did extra work for wwe actually How the, oh that was just kind of recently too yes, right okay yes. so to break down the story dude i forgot this oh, i wrote this out before I, that happened that's so cool <laughs> But explain it. What happened, dude? That's yeah, weird. well, they hit me up to do the, you know, the extra work for WWE. And I don't know. I don't know if I was even meant to do that spot. But they were like, okay, you know, we're going to have you do a little segment with uh, Carmelo and uh, Trick Williams. They're like, we're going to just have you stand in the back looking sexy and everything. So I, was like, so I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm like, say no more. They're like, would you be willing? I'm like, really? Oh, my God. Is that even a question? <laughs> like, I'm in WWE and you're asking me if I want to do this. Like, of course I want to do it, you know. So I was so excited. They're like, we give you 10 minutes to change. I ran upstairs. I even broke a nail for freaking trying to like change so fast. I never changed so fast in my life. That's so cool, dude. <laughs> it was fun. It was a fun experience to see them do their thing. Like they're so natural, like, you know, and it's like just being 
stepping my foot in there and being in the big leagues and seeing all those people in person was just like so surreal like so surreal the way that you work and the drive that you have i know that you're going to get there one day i love it so what do you have planned for the future or upcoming matches do you have Ooh, just kind of like making a name for myself here in uh cali the east coast i went uh i went to elmira in new york um i think uh, maybe like two months a month ago uh i kind of want to make a name for myself in the east coast as well get myself more out there you know go through other go to other states kind of yeah. you know wrestle a lot of people in different places plant your stuff. plant your flag in a bunch of different yes. territories that's very cool exactly. well, where can people follow you at social media and any shout outs that you have uh, they could follow me at Zyra Wrestling Official on Instagram. They could. Uh, That's Z Y R A. Z Y R A underscore uh, Wrestling Official. Uh, they could find me on Twitter. Uh, it's Zyra. They could find me on YouTube under uh, Zyra Wrestling and uh, Facebook under Zyra Wrestling as well. Thank you so much, Zyra. Uh, thank you for coming down to the wrestling store, having your sign here, and thank yeah. you for being on Coffin thank Radio. Thank you so much for thank having you. me. I had a good time, and thank you for all the questions. I just need to make it known now that I'm out here making a name for myself for whoever wants to come and wrestle me and go at it. I'm ready. I love it. Thank you so much, Zyra. Thank you. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media at Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled with a K. And that's all for today. KSMR Call and Radio.